What's going on everyone? I'm Avery and today we're going to talk a little bit about Monero. Monero is the leading cryptocurrency with a focus on privacy and censorship resistant transactions. I decided to make this video because I thought the recent drama over Bitmain's Monero ASICs was pretty interesting and I'll get into that later. Furthermore, Monero is a true privacy coin and it really separates itself from the rest of the cryptocurrency crowd. So we're gonna start with addressing the misconceptions of cryptocurrency in general. Cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin or Ethereum are not private or anonymous by default. Many people confuse being pseudonymous with being truly anonymous. Bitcoin is a completely transparent system where people can see exactly how much money is being spent from one address to another, as well as view the entire history of transactions. Bitcoin was and still is a groundbreaking breaking technology, so why might a transparent system still cause issues? The cool thing about decentralized currencies is that transactions cannot be prevented from happening, but once a few addresses are associated with real identities, the pseudo anonymous veil of privacy quickly vanishes. We're seeing this becoming even more of a potential issue with Amazon filing a patent for a streaming data marketplace, where a law enforcement agency may be a customer and may desire to receive global Bitcoin transactions correlated by country with ISP data to determine source IP addresses and shipping addresses that correlate to Bitcoin addresses, making it extremely easy to trace transactions and uncover communities that may not want that type of attention. So then how is Monero's privacy different from other coins? Monero uses three different privacy technologies, ring signatures, ring confidential transactions or ring CT and stealth addresses. These hide the sender amount and receiver in the transaction respectively. All transactions on the network are private by mandate and there's no way to accidentally send a transparent transaction. This feature is exclusive to Monero and it's really cool because you don't need to trust anyone else with your privacy. Monero is based on the CryptoNote protocol, which is a privacy focused protocol used by a few different cryptocurrencies today. Naturally, the inventor went by the pseudonym Nicholas Van Saberhagen, I think. Monero also has a dynamic block size and a dynamic fee structure, an ASIC resistant proof of work algorithm, that's something we'll touch on in a second, and a tail coin emission among several other things that I want to address in this video because they're pretty complex. Now that we have a very simplified understanding of how Monero works, let's get back to Bitmain. Bitmain is one of the largest and most dominant mining hardware manufacturers, and they have announced a new product to be released for mining Monero. This mining hardware is dubbed the Antminer X3 and was purposely built for mining Kryptonite, the proof of work algorithm behind Monero. Despite the newfound interest in mining their new coin, the Monero community is instead fighting to become ASIC resistant. In fact, to ensure that miners are unsuccessful when they try to use ASIC mining hardware, the community has since hard forked their coin. This hard fork took place on April 6th and is one of many planned biannual network upgrades. Basically what was going on is that Bitmain was doing some shady stuff in the Monero network. They didn't announce their new hardware until after Monero announced the hard fork or the proposal of the hard fork, which would render the Antminer X3 worthless. The hard fork was brought forth over the concerns of mining centralization due to Bitmain ASICs. Some people don't understand the centralization aspect of ASICs unless they're able to actually see it themselves. So right here is a graph of Monero's hash rate drop off after the ASIC resistant hard fork took place. The dramatic decrease in hash rate makes it highly probable that Bitmain had been secretly mining with their ASICs unavailable to the market and subsequently had massive control over the network. A common from a Monero Reddit moderator said, Note that the hash rate of Monero Classic, the alternative v6 chain which is not ASIC resistant, is currently around 815 mega hashes per second. Thus, it's quite likely that ASICs made up 70 to 80 percent of the hash rate pre fork. With only one entity in control of that amount of network hash rate, things could go terribly wrong. Bitmain operated in a shady manner with the unreleased hardware, but they didn't necessarily perform anything horrendously malicious. Still, that's not really the point. With that amount of power control over the network, a single entity very well could have performed a 51% attack on the network. Trusting a single powerful entity to behave is the antithesis of decentralization. Looking forward to the future, it's hard to tell how ASIC mining hardware and future cryptocurrencies will interact. ASICs already have a bad name, and if companies continue to mine secretly with unreleased ASICs, coins which use the Kryptonite algorithm must decide if they will fork just like Monero. If they do not hard fork, then malicious ASIC mining has the potential to dominate hash power on the network if it hasn't already. It is important to note that this single hard fork is not a permanent solution to ASIC mining for Monero. It will require constant diligence from the developers to guarantee their biannual network upgrades are effective as manufacturers create newer, more powerful hardware. If you are a big fan of Monero and want the rest of the cryptocurrency community to see this video, please give us an upvote and 
comment on the thoughts of the future of the ecosystem. Additionally, I encourage everyone to look at some of the research papers on Monero, which are really interesting and give a far deeper technical look at everything than what I've described. I'll link those resources in the comments for you to see. If there's anything I missed or got wrong in this video, please comment under the video. We're all learning here, so I would like to share that knowledge. I look forward to chatting with you in the comments below and thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time. Thank you.